Hello, my friends. How's everyone doing today? Y'all, I was going through my moles out there in the shed. I got like five boxes boxed up for the giveaway. I'm talking about them boxes full. Y'all, excuse my fingernails. Um, anyway, and I found this mold. I've never done it. It is a piano. It's a keyboard. Piano board or whatever you want to call it. It's got a butterfly on it. This around here is the picture frame. Stop. <sighs> Something in it already. So that's what we're going to be doing today because my little grandbaby down the road, she's, uh, she calls me Granny Faye, my neighbor's daughter. She, uh, plays the piano. So I thought this would be very cute to sit up on her piano while she's playing it and think about her Granny Faye. Don't y'all think so? All right, now, we're going to be using less resin chameleon powders. Now, my thoughts on that was, since this is a picture frame, and her favorite colors is blue, purple, I think she just about likes everything. So, I'm going to go around, let me see if I can, this little part here, right in there, I'm going to do gold. This part here is going to be done in dark magenta and then of course these keys are going to be black okay the butterfly I want to do in different colors I want to do black cherry sorry about that these are intense chameleon I have an affiliate link coupon code down below babies I'm going to be using deep blue and fairy green now, I don't know about this fair green. I might want to just change it to green because this has got gold in it. And I don't know. I don't know. It might be too much gold. See that? I mean, it's got green. But I'm thinking when I put that black um, resin on the back, I think it shows more gold than it does green. I do believe, if, if I remember right. Now, honey, may not be remembering right. But let me just get my, get my, um, let me find my green here. I'm just, oh. Green, where you at, honey? There it is. Now, see, this is more of a green. See that? Oh. That's gorgeous. Okay. So that's going to be the colors for my butterfly. Now then, I got to do, this is the piano. This part. This part. This. You know, the surrounding area of these keys. This. All of this. So I don't know what color to do that unless I want to use all chameleon. Maybe I'll do it in the maple. Do it in the maple. I don't know why it's not focusing today. But it is gorgeous. Now that's kind of got a gold in it too. But we're going with it. Okay. So we'll do our piano in that. Oh, we could. Oh, we could go with this one. Let me see how much I got. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. We could do it in the white. It's olive, actually. So, we could do it in that. Let's do that. And I'm going to leave this maple out. Just in case, you know, I might want to mix. Might mix them. Let's see. There we go. Okay, now. Now then, I think I got it. Baby dolls. And let me see. Let me get me a white because I know I'm going to need that. And there we are. And I got my brush, but it sure is uh, fat. See how fat? Mm. Now I'm going to start with, I think, the this little part right here in there and then I know I'm gonna have to wipe that off purple and gold so maybe I'm gonna stand it up like this and dust like that and do the gold first 
because it's going to be gold, purple, gold for the frame. So, yeah. And I think I got one that is almost empty, and I think it's this one. Yeah, let's go with that. That looks green, don't it? Hey, it says gold. All right, let's get with it. Let's see what I can get out of here. Oh, that's pretty. And we're going to dust this little rim in the gold. All right, we got the gold in. And I may want to go ahead and do the gold here. This part is going to be purple. I'll just make it harder for myself, don't I? I do. Why don't I just make the whole frame gold? Is that right? That'd be way easier. Okay, now then I think I'm ready to do the purple. Let me put that over there because I'm done with that. Let me give it a little wipey. And then we can, uh, oh no. Then we can do the purple. I've got to get some baby wipes. These are those sanitary wipes. I have no idea if it's going to mess my mold up or what. But shouldn't. Sanitary. Alrighty. That's good. I can't stand this on the edges. That throws me off. I don't know why. Oh, goodness, but it does. Okay. All right. Now then, we can go. Make sure I didn't wipe any off. Better, way better, is it not? All right. Let's get the purple going. Now it's not going to matter because I got my gold down, you see. So now we can do the purple. Dark magenta is the color. That's a pretty color. Uh -huh. That is so pretty. All right, let's get that in. What y'all think so far? That purple and gold is gorgeous, is it not? All right, now, my thoughts on this butterfly, oh, no, is um, I want to do two different colors, but um, this is going to be the piano. Let's do that. No. Yeah. Let's just do the piano. We'll do that next top off of that. That's olive. Olive color. Now, I may still have a little purple in my brush, but if I do, it's fine. It's not going to hurt nothing. Now then, I'm going to do the butterfly. Now I'm going to do the butterfly in blue. Deep blue. Look at that. Can't see in there, can you? I don't know why you can't see there. I didn't have my light down. Leave it to me. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the tips up here with this, um, what is it? Deep blue. Until it just runs off my brush. And when it's gone off my brush, I'll go in with another color. So just get a little bit on the tip of your brush.
Okay. All right. Now that doesn't matter because we've already laid our color down for that. Now I'm going to come up here and do the tip of this wing. Alrighty, got that. Now I'm going to go in with some green. Because like I said, she loves all colors. Ooh, that picked up a big chunk. Finish the wing. I'm not going to do that body. I'm not going to put anything in there. I'm going to let the black do that. That I pour at the end. Just going to let the black handle that part for me. Okay, now I have some black cherry. Come on, camera. What are you doing? Oh, goodness. There we go. Black cherry. It's got a little bit of every color in it. And I'm going to finish this bottom. That way she'll have a pretty butterfly. Now I'm going to have to go in and wipe that body off. Because I don't want anything on that body. Except for black. Alrighty. Now we got that. Give it a blow. had a little spot so I just used the magenta and just filled it back in there we go all right now I'm gonna clean the butterfly body and I'm gonna take one of these little I don't know if you can see that it's like a q-tip but it's real thin and I'm just going to go in here and try to wipe this off. I didn't wet it with alcohol and nothing. Because I figured it would do better. Dry. Alright, let's see. I'm going to hold it up a little bit. There we go. What do y'all think about these colors? I mean, I don't know. Get that little head. There's a little butterfly head right here. Alright, I think that's good enough. It's almost off. Just leave a little bit in there for some color, I guess. Alright, there you go. Now I'm going to get my resin mixed up. And get my gloves on. And I'm going to be using less resin black mica. And I'm going to just pour black on it. So let me get my resin mixed up. And then we'll mix the color in together. Okay? Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, got my resin mixed up. And I'm using uh, Resineers Epoxy Resin 1 to 1. The bottles are color-coded. And look at the spout. You know how resin will just go down the side of your bottle? Look at that. It goes right back in the bottle. I love it. I love it. Now the A is the white. And the B is the gray. So you won't get your lids mixed up. And you won't have any resin running anywhere down the side of your bottle. So, I love it. And it's clear. It's clear. All right. Practically bubble-free, babies. Now, I'm going to get me a spoon here. I know this ain't going to be big enough. But I'm going to just take some less resin, black mica, and get it in the resin. And I want it 
black. And I know I overdo with the mica. Um, let me stir that up and see what that does. Without slinging it over here in my mold. And I see a spot that does not have uh, mica on it right there. I see it. I love this resin, y'all. It's a good resin. And y'all know I whoop it. I whoop it, honey. I want all that mica mixed up. Scrape your sides real good. Get them all scraped down. Scrape your stick. And then once you do all that, give it a good whooping. Now, with other resins, it will have so many bubbles in it. But y'all see that, don't you? All right. There's that, I think. I'm going to wait a minute and see if the mica floats to the top while I get that spot. I'm glad i seen that spot. Oh. I hope I don't have any more spots. I held it up against the light to make sure that I didn't have any, but I doggone should see one right there. That's great, Wanda. Look what you did. Oh, there's another one. Let me get that, and I'll be right back, babies. Okay? All right, I think I got it. The spots that I missed. I, I hope I did. That looks a little funny, but and look at the bubbles that came up. Them little micro bubbles. So I'm going to spray it with this alcohol. And there we go. Now I'm also going to spray that. Because I don't want any bubbles trapping. Okay. Let's get it going, babies. Here we go. Is that mica? Probably. Here we go. I'm going to do it on the butterfly. And I mixed up eight ounces, and I'm hoping that's enough. I really wanted it to be too much so I could finish off my Big Mama jar. Honey, this thing holding some resin, babies. And eight ounces is what it's going to hold. Yep. Every string and bit. So there we go. There we go. Now that needs a little propping. This mold is a little wonky. So I'm going to put this right here. Put my alcohol jar there. And that's that. Okay. And I'll be back when it's all good and cured and we demold it and pray for the best, babies. All right, darling. See you in a little bit. All right. I think it's ready. <sighs> Here we go, darlings. Let's see what it looks like. See what spaces I miss. Go. <laughs> Pretty sure I missed some. That's a little bendy, but I think it's good enough. Good enough. Uh oh. No, it's not. See, that's not that's not ready. That corner. The rest of it is. Take gum it. But that little corner is not. Why are you not ready, my friend? Well, we're going to take it on out. Just push it back up there. There you go. Now, here we go, loves. Don't let that corner fall, Wanda. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Wow. <gasps> wow. Y'all. That is like 3D, is it not? Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> Look at that. Now, I, I'm thinking that was supposed to be black. This little key. Oh, my 
goodness. What do y'all think? I'm loving that. I love it. And look at that butterfly. Oh, look at that butterfly. I think she's going to love it. I do believe she's going to love it. Now, I could take a, a paint pen and go over these keys and get that one. But you know what? I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. And look at that purple and gold. Yeah, this right here is a little, a little messed up. But I'm just going to fix it. Okay, there we go. Like new. Just like new. There we are. There. It's a little pointed, ain't it? <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Now then, uh-oh, I'll fix it. I'm just going to keep patting until I get it right. But anyway, there it is, babies. I think it turned out gorgeous. I think it turned out gorgeous. What do y'all think? I love it. I absolutely love it, and I think she will too. Oh, all those beautiful colors. Oh, and that purple <laughs> around the edges. Look at the purple. Sweet. That is sweet. I'm going to let it sit there and and uh, do, 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 finish curing on these little points. Let me give this a little, a little bit. There we go. See that? Just fix it right on up. There we are. Perfect. All right, sweet angels. Let's get the prayer board. I promise when I come back, my fingernails is going to be done. And guess what? My daughter um, mailed that game. It's called, oh my goodness. I don't forgot again. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> uh, incoherent. It's called Incoherent. And it's supposed to be here tomorrow. She mailed it day before yesterday, and it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So we may have a live um, tomorrow night and may start having game night on Wednesday nights. What do y'all think about that? Y'all let me know what you think about game night on Wednesday nights. I promise it is so fun. Y'all, I don't know. I'm going to have to take me a bucket out there to the, I'm going to have to do it in the art shed because it's noisy in here. And, uh, I know I'm going to be cackling like a hen because, <laughs> I t like I say, I may have to take me a bucket out there, you know what I mean, and a roll of tissue, because I know I'm going to have to TT a lot. All right, babies, that's a little bit too much information, ain't it? But, you know, anyhow, let's do the prayers. Y'all let me know about game night, okay? On Wednesday nights, live. All right, continue prayers for Miss Patricia Davis, Miss Christine, Miss Caroline Christ, Miss Lisa Provost, and her husband, Miss Trish Green, Miss Brenda Levi, Miss Amy, uh, Miss Billy Holman, and her husband, Miss Roseanne, Miss Frances, Miss Lisa Smith, Miss Amy's First Lady, Miss Charlene, Miss Stephanie Moore, Miss Angel Ortega. She's having surgery on the 18th. She's already had one, so let's pray for a speedy recovery from that one, and she's having another one on the 18th. So let's pray everything goes as it should. And Miss Stacy's mama, and I had the date wrong. Of course I did. Miss Stacy's mama, Miss Pat, she's having surgery December the 12th. Okay, babies? So let's pray for Miss Pat. All right, sweet angels, let's get a, a verse. And I left my other book outside, and I don't know where my glasses are. So I'm going to have to hold it way back to read it. All right, fear. When fear immobilizes you, we've probably already had this one, but I'm not sure. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Deuteronomy 31, verse 8. Amen. Amen, babies. Ain't that the truth? All right, sweet angels. Let me know what y'all think about this, and I think she's going to love it. And that's just 3D. And when it cures, I may just put a little stand, you know, put a little stand back here for her so it can sit up. I think it's just absolutely adorable. 
All right, babies. Thank you all for watching. Thank you so much. I made me some cabbage and cornbread and a strawberry cake like I need it. Yeah, I blowed my diet out of the water about a month ago. Honey, babies, I know y'all could tell it. Woo! I'm a biggin', but you know what? I'm happy and I'm blessed, so that's all that matters, ain't it? I'll get it right. <laughs> but anyway, I love y'all, and I want to thank my members. Thank y'all for sharing and your comments, darlings, and um, it's just your support. Y'all are the best. I got the best YouTube family ever. I, I say it all the time. And um, God bless you all, babies. Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, darlings. Bye.